This commercial starts on a wide shot of a futuristic looking industrial complex. We see a long line of drones marching single file down a glass enclosed hallway. They are all shaved bald and wear drab ill-fitting clothes. Some of them wear gas masks. We can see small television screens attached to the ceiling on which a speech is being broadcast. Today we celebrate the first glorious anniversary of the Information Purification Directives. We then cut quickly to a young blonde woman running down a separate hallway carrying what appears to be a large sledgehammer. We see she is being chased by a team of stormtroopers in full riot gear. We have created for the first time in all history a garden of pure ideology, where each worker may bloom secure from the pests of any contradictory true thoughts. Our unification of thoughts is more powerful a weapon than any fleet or army on earth. We are one people, with one will, one resolve, one cause. Our enemies shall talk themselves to death and we will bury them with their own confusion. Just then the young woman runs into the theater with the stormtroopers right behind her. We shall prevail. The young woman swings her sledgehammer in a wide circle, then lets it fly with a labored scream. We see the hammer fly through the air. The hammer hits the movie screen. The screen explodes, bathing the drones in white light. Just then we hear a voiceover say, On February 4th, Apple Computer will introduce the iCube, and you'll see why 2008 won't be like 1984. We then cut to an Apple computer logo. Okay guys, so before you say anything, let's just uh, take a minute to, um, to just get your uh, immediate thoughts down. But that would be the one commercial I would get up to, to and leave the room to do something else. It's just black and white. It's just a little depressing. It's sadness. I mean, dark is sad, dark is dreary. It was depressing. The content was very boring. We are modeled after um, uh, the, the Nazi uh, rallies and so on. I thought it was a little trap. I just didn't care for it whatsoever. The blonde girl with the sledgehammer. That doesn't make any really sense, really. Gas mask is some sort of protective uh, device. Yeah. And why would some of the drones be protected and not the others? I couldn't see what they're promoting. I really didn't get it. You know, a lot of things that make me laugh. I'm a big fan of anything with the chimpanzee in it, I don't know why. I like the um, dog commercials. If you had a message for all those uh, creative people back there um, on how to improve this commercial, what would you tell them? The commercial would be a lot better if it actually had real, real people, people in it. it yeah. Apple logo somewhere in the corner, just so people would know exactly what the commercial was prior to the end of it, because you want to keep people's interest and yeah. hold them there. Even if everything was monocolor, you know, right. the same color, put the Apple logo on all the shirts or something like that, so you have a clue. You know, I was thinking, because um, you had those drones and they're all kind of walking, and like, what if you had them walking like robots or something? You know, the IQ comes along and everybody right. breaks out into like solo dance moves with the drone. Yeah, like yeah. How many of you think Apple should move forward with this ad? Qualitative testing suggests adopting the following optimizers to boost appeal with target audience. Use real people, preferably without gas masks. Make fewer references to Nazism. Bring up Apple logo sooner, perhaps on character's wardrobe or superimposed bug. Above all, every attempt should be made to make the commercial less depressing. A palette of bright colors could achieve this. For entertainment value, consider using a dog or chimpanzee. Based on initial testing, we recommend you do not move forward with this communication without significant changes before quant tests. We shall prevail.